Hey guys, and in this video, we've actually got an unboxing of the MSI Gaming 7 Z97 motherboard. A motherboard that is full of features and some of them designed with gamers in mind. I have this thanks to MSI and we're going to take a look at it. The motherboard is a socket 1150 motherboard, so it's compatible with 4th and 5th generation Intel processors. Let's take a quick look at the box first, which does detail some of the features of this motherboard. Audio boost is the first thing we'll take a look at. This does quite a few things. It can shield your sound against interference that can be caused by other components, as well as having high quality audio capacitors and more power directed to the sound. Overall, it improves the sound quality you can experience. Then we have the killer E2200 networking card. This is a high quality LAN card built in, essentially that is built for maximum performance from your connection via Ethernet. It'll shape traffic and prioritize games to give you that extra speed when you're playing competitive games. The next feature is quite interesting and it's in relation to USB power. The board claims to constantly deliver a stable 5 volt power to the USB connections no matter how many are connected. This is especially useful if you connect multiple devices and audio devices as well to make sure they always have the right amount of power. The last four features on the box list XSplit, of which you can get a free six month subscription so you can stream your content. The gaming app, which lets you fiddle and tweak both your motherboard and graphics overclock settings. Then the Creative Sound Blaster, which is an audio enhancement providing sharp and clear audio for your listening experience. And then lastly, we're informed about the board's multi-GPU ability utilizing both SLI and Crossfire. As we unbox the motherboard, we get to see exactly what is inside. Standard driver CD, they'll always look for newer drivers online, and the quick start guide to help you get off the ground. Next we have something which I really like though, cable stickers. You can peel these off and apply them to certain cables to help you with your cable organisation. Very useful. SATA cables, as you would expect, as well as the I.O. plate. You actually get uh, one normal SATA cable and you also get right angle cables as well. Now the next little cable is in fact a Molex adapter which is used if you want to give more power to your audio devices i.e. your sound card like I explained before. We then have a really cool MSI case badge which whilst I won't use it is actually a very nice badge so stick that on your PC if that's what you're into. Also you will find an SLI connector for of course use with dual GPU setups and also some MSI M connectors which are designed to make it easier connecting the power reset and HDD connectors. Lastly, of course, we have the shiny manuals, which offer some light reading. Oh, and a, a door hanger. Okay. So as we take a look at the actual board, we can talk about some more of its features. Firstly, the design is really nice. A lovely MSI logo in the bottom right of the board, which fits well with the dragon claw design of the heat sinks at the top of the board. The board really does look lovely. Four DDR3 RAM slots supporting up to 3300 MHz speeds, but of course, check the manual again for the correct dual channel configuration. You can also benefit from the board having the next generation of speed storage support with M.2 and SATA Express. You also have six SATA connections that are available to you. As you can see, there are three PCIe 3.0 X16 slots and also four PCIe 2 X1 slots. At the bottom of the board, we have the OC Genie Overclock button, which is an overclocking element that is built into the motherboard. Just hit the button, and it automatically overclocks your GPU to a safe level. Clearly not as good as manually overclocking, but it's still very good and so easy for unexperienced users. Moving on now to the ports, we firstly have the gaming ports in red. These ports are optimized to deliver the best and fastest connectivity for high-end gaming mice and peripherals. So if you're a gamer, these are the slots that you want to use for your mice and keyboard. Next to that in blue, we have four USB 3 slots, and then next to that, two HDMI slots, an optical audio connection, and also a DisplayPort connection as well. Next, we have four more USB 3 connections, as well as the killer LAN Ethernet connection as well, and the audio tower, which is powered by Realtek. The motherboard is of great build quality. It's jam-packed with features for both gamers and enthusiasts. In the UK, the motherboard can be purchased for around about £130. Thanks for joining me on this unboxing, and next time we'll be taking a look at the MSI Radeon 290 graphics card.
See you next time.